First at 10, it's been a year since an EF3 tornado ripped through parts of Troop County, destroying several homes and businesses. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carly Barnett. And I'm Tori Cooper. One of the buildings was a beloved church that has officially reopened just in time for Easter Sunday. Our Atlanta News First reporter Bridget Spencer is in West Point with the story. March 26, 2023 was a day Edward Kelly will never forget. We had no church, so... Uh, the preacher asked me if we could salvage it, and I told him no, it was gone. That day, a powerful tornado ripped through Troop County, leveling homes and businesses. One of those buildings was Bethel Baptist Church in West Point. Thankfully, nobody was inside. Totally demolished the church, came the roof in. Uh, uh, the kitchen, the roof was completely gone. The church, built in 1942, was a total loss. But members didn't dwell on the devastation. Last Easter, they held service outside in a tent in the cold immediately after the storm. Jesus. Pastor Christopher Hendricks said he would make sure that they rebuild. We are going to build back. We've got a lot of changes we're going to make with the build, build back and the layout of things. And they did just that in a year, reopening just days before Easter 2024. We have a very small uh, congregation here, but uh, everybody jumped in there and just built the church. Small but mighty. The church says Easter Sunday was a success. Well, the church was one of many buildings that was destroyed. This actually used to be a motel. This really shows just how much people are still trying to get their lives back on track. Edward Kelly has seen some neighbors come and go. And they just moved on with their life somewhere. So, you know, it's uh. Stand. But on this Easter, Bethel Baptist members are celebrating a resurrection of hope and optimism that continues to reverberate throughout West Point as people rebuild their lives. We got a great church and hope it grows and uh, we can fill all these pews up. In Troop County, Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.